こんにちは。Welcome to Campanas Japanese. I'm May. In this video, I'm gonna talk about nasalized vowels. <laughs> Campanas Japanese. <laughs> this is a continuation of the how to pronounce n video. So if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend watching it first. The link in the description. As I mentioned in the how to pronounce n video, there are roughly three ways of pronouncing n. In this video, I'm gonna cover the third one. When n is followed by vowels, semi-vowels, or fricatives, N is pronounced as the nasalized vowels. By the way, the V stands for vowels, not vendetta, in case you are wondering. And this is a diacritic for nasalization. So it can be this, or this, or this, or this, or this. All right. Let's take a look at how to pronounce n as a nasalized vowel. First of all, let's talk about nasal vowels. Nasal vowels are produced by letting the air escape through the mouth and the nose. While vowels are produced by letting the air escape only through the mouth. There are no strict rules on what nasalized vowels to use for n. But basically, we use the e nasalized vowel when the sound after n is produced with the tongue positioned at the front part of the mouth, like e. Eh. Yeah. S. Sh. Or sh sound. Example words. Ken. Ken. Kinyan. Kinyan. Honyaku, honyaku, onsei, onsei, kansha, kansha, jumin hyo, jumin hyo. We use the u nasalized vowel when the sound after n is produced with the tongue. Positioned at the middle back part of the mouth, like u, o, h, or wa sound. Example words: shinch, shinch, sanok. Sanok, Sanfujinka, Sanfujinka, Denwa, Denwa. When the following sound is produced with the tongue being at the neutral position, like a or h sound, I think. Think n is influenced by the preceding vowel, but there are some papers saying otherwise. So this is just how I pronounce. Example words: renai, renai, onatsu, onatsu, ranhansha. Ranhansha. 
It's extremely tedious to memorize all of these rules. I know. The important thing is to make sure your tongue doesn't touch any parts of your mouth. For example, when you say sengen, it's important you pronounce n as the nasalized vowel. Because if you pronounce n as the n sound, it sounds like senen or sennen. And totally change the meaning. So your tongue shouldn't be touching any parts of your mouth and pronounce it as the nasalized vowel. Sengen. Sengen. If you follow that, it doesn't really matter which nasalized vowels you use for、mm. One last thing. Both hiragana and katakana are sets of phonetic characters. So it's quite important for you to be able to associate a sound with a corresponding character. So check out my hiragana playlist. Also, you can download hiragana worksheets like this on my Patreon page for free. So check out my Patreon page, the link in the description box below. Alright, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Janet!